Hello, in today's episode we are going to talk about Kentrosaurus. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Kentrosaurus is a genus of stegosaurid dinosaur from the late Jurassic of Tanzania, about 152 million years ago. Often thought to be a primitive member of the Stegosauria, several recent cladistic analyzes find it as more derived than many other Stegosaurs, and a close relative of Stegosaurus from the North American Morrison formation within the Stegosauridae. It walked on all fours with straight hind lines. It had a small, elongated head with a beak used to bite off plant material that would be digested in a large gut. It had a, probably double, row of small plates running down its neck and back. These plates gradually merged into spikes on the hip and tail. The longest spikes were on the tail end and were used to actively defend the animal. There also was a long spike on each shoulder. The thigh bones come in two different types, suggesting that one sex was larger and more stout than the other. The total length of a composite skeletal mount in the Museum für Nachkunde Berlin, Germany, from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail is 4.5 meters. Slightly more than half of this length is made up by the tail. Larger single elements were found, so that the animal could probably attain a total length of 5.5 meters. In 2010, Gregory S. Paul estimated the weight of a 4-meter long Kentrosaurus at 700 kilograms. An estimate for the 4.5 meters long composite mount on the basis of a virtual 3D skeleton and 3D model, predict a body mass between 1 and 1.5 tons, depending on the amount of musculature reconstructed for the tail. The long tail of Kentrosaurus results in a position of the center of mass that is unusually far back for a quadrupedal animal. It rests just in front of the hip, a position usually seen in bipedal dinosaurs. However, the femora are straight in Kentrosaurus, as opposed to typical bipeds, indicating a straight and vertical limb position. Thus, the hind limes, though powered by massive thigh muscles attached to a long ilium, did not support the animal alone, and the very robust forelimbs took up 10 to 15 percent of the body weight. The first fossils of Kentrosaurus were discovered by the German Tenderguru expedition in 1909 to Tanzania, back then known as German East Africa, and at first were wrongly recognized as belonging to a stegosaur. From then on over 1,200 bones belonging to about 50 individuals, were found all over Tenderguru formation. During Second World War, many of these fossils were destroyed, leaving roughly 350 remaining specimens. Although no complete individuals were found, some material was discovered in association, including a nearly complete tail, hip, several dorsal vertebrae and some limb elements of one individual. These form the core of a mount in the museum Fiernach Kunde, and is considered a base of the sole accepted species named Kentrosaurus ethiopicus. Typically for a stegosaur, Kentrosaurus had extensive osteoderm which are bony structures in the skin, including small plates, and spikes of various shapes. The spikes of Kentrosaurus are very elongated, with one specimen having a bone core length of 731 mm. The plates have a thickened section in the middle, as if they were modified spines. The spikes and plates were likely covered by horn. Aside from a few exceptions they were not found in close association with other skeletal remains. Thus, the exact position of most osteoderms is uncertain. A pair of closely spaced spikes was found articulated with a tail tip, and a number of spikes were found apparently regularly spaced in pairs along the path of an articulated tail. 
While grouping the dermal armor elements into four distinct types, scientists recognized an apparently continuous change of shape among them, shorter and flatter plates at the front gradually merging into longer and more pointed spikes towards the rear, suggesting an uninterrupted distribution along the entire body, in 15 pairs. Because each type of osteoderm was found in mirrored left and right versions, it seems probable that all types of osteoderms were distributed in two rows along the back of the animal, a marked contrast to the better known North American Stegosaurus, which had one row of plates on the neck, trunk and tail, and two rows of spikes on the tail tip. Like all Ornithitians, Kentrosaurus was a herbivore. The fodder was barely chewed and swallowed in large chunks. One hypothesis on stegosaurid diet holds that they were low-level browsers, eating foliage and low-growing fruit from various non-flowering plants. Kentrosaurus was capable of eating at heights of up to 1.7 meters when on all fours. It may also have been possible for it to rear up on its hind legs to reach vegetation higher in trees. With its center of mass close to the hind limbs, the animal could potentially support itself as it stood up. The hips were likely capable of allowing a vertical trunk rotation of about 60 degrees and the tail probably would either have been fully lifted, not blocking this movement or have enough curvature to rest on the ground, thus it could have provided additional support, though precisely because of this flexibility it is not certain whether much support was actually provided, it was not stiff enough to function as a third leg as had been suggested by Robert Thomas Baker. In this pose, Kentrosaurus could have fed at heights of 3.3 meters. 